Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Did you see all of my memories? All of those things have already happened. I really was just remembering some of the things I have done in the past. Why are we talking about my past? Well, that's a great question. You already know how to speak in the present tense, in the future, using ir a plus infinitive, and today you will be able to talk about things that have already happened. They already took place, like all of my memories. Were you able to figure out some of the things I was saying? Some of the things that I was thinking about? Yes. Yes, you're right. Why is that? Basically, because I use some of the same verbs that you and I have used in the past, but instead of using them in the present tense, with the present tense endings, I use the preterite endings. Whoa, what is preterite? Don't worry, it's just a funky word to talk about things that have already happened in the past. A completed action. Perfect. If you're new to my channel, I am teacher Catalina and I teach Spanish. In the past, I have created a lot of Spanish lessons to help you with learning the language. In the future, I am going to continue to make more lessons so you and I can share this time together. Right now in the present, you have an opportunity to click that subscribe button. And at any time during this video, you can click that like button. Muy bien amigos, yo estoy lista para nuestra clase hoy. ¿Estás listo? Yes. Muy bien. Today, we are learning how to conjugate AR verbs in the preterite. And again, we said the preterite is just a funky word to talk about things that have already happened in the past. In the past, they've already happened. So how do we conjugate verbs? Let's hear it. You already know. You remember that you have to get rid of the ending and you have to add a new ending. That's it. It's the same thing we're doing. But today, we have to learn our preterite endings. And again, today we are only focusing on AR verbs in the preterite tense. So what do we need? Yes, we need our subject pronouns. Let me write them really quick. Make sure that you write them down on your paper at home. our subject pronouns. So let's quickly, quickly, quickly review how do we conjugate a verb. So the rules say, number one, you get rid of the AR because we're focusing on AR verbs today. And number two, you add a new ending. And since we're talking about new endings, let's focus on learning those new endings. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the verb nadar. Nadar. Do you remember what it means? Yes. That's right. To swim. So, rule number one says, we get rid of the AR. Poof! It's gone. And now, we have to add a new ending to this stem that we have over here. So, let's learn the endings for AR verbs in the preterite. ¿Listos? Vamos! Since you already are a conjugation expert, and if you're not yet, that's okay. Look below. But, since you probably already know how to conjugate, let me put the endings super quick and then you and I can discuss them. Good? Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we have our endings here for the preterite form of AR verbs. So, our rules say, number one, we have to get rid of that AR. And number two, we're going to add the new endings. So let's take a look at the verb nadar. Nadar, to swim. Rule number one says we have to get rid of the AR. So we come here and we literally, poof, AR, it's gone. We are left with the stem. So now that we have the stem, we can add new endings 
so we can talk about this activity that happened in the past. So the verb nadar, we have the stem, and we can now conjugate it in the preterite. Yo nadé ayer. Yo nadé ayer. Ayer means yesterday. Good. Tú nadaste la semana pasada. Tú nadaste la semana pasada. Last week. Ella nadó el sábado. Ella nadó el sábado. Which Saturday? Possibly last Saturday. It already happened. Nosotros nadamos el mes pasado. Nosotros nadamos el mes pasado. Wait, I know what you're thinking. No way! Do you see it? Wow. Yes, amos. <gasps> Isn't that the same ending for AR verbs in the present tense? Wow, yes. You are absolutely right. It is. So how can that be? Uh-oh. How am I going to be able to tell if I'm talking about the present or the past? It's simple. Let me tell you. Perfect. Let's look at the sentence and see what gave it away that it already happened. Nosotros nadamos el mes pasado. Nosotros nadamos el mes pasado. El mes pasado is what gives us a clue. It's a context clue. Last month. That's how you're able to tell if it's in the present tense or if it already happened in the preterite. El mes pasado is your context clue. Vosotras nadasteis. Vosotras nadasteis el miércoles pasado. Vosotras nadasteis el miércoles pasado, last Wednesday. Ustedes nadaron hace dos años. Ustedes nadaron hace dos años, two years ago. Let's do one more example together to make sure that you got the preterite endings under control. I know you do. Look at this picture. This already happened. It's in the past. It happened. So I want to tell you about it. So we have to use the verb hablar. Hablar. Rule number one says we have to get rid of that AR. And rule number two says that I am going to add a new ending. So let me show you that really quick. Did you see how we conjugated the verb hablar? Yes. And in this case, we were talking about all these people talked past tense on the phone. Yo hablé por teléfono. Tú hablaste por teléfono. Ella habló por teléfono. Or usted habló por teléfono. Nosotros hablamos por teléfono ayer, yesterday. Vosotros hablasteis por teléfono. Ellos, ellas, and ustedes hablaron por teléfono. Good job! You conjugated two AR verbs in the preterite. And since the rules are the same, you get rid of the AR and you add a new ending, you should be able to conjugate any regular AR verb in the present tense and also now in the preterite. Perfect. Here are a couple of words that are going to be really useful when you're talking about things that already happened. Make sure that you take a really good look at them so that you can use them in the correct form. They are important, especially in that nosotros form, because they're going to serve us as context. Yesterday, last month, the last Saturday, all those kinds of words really help you out when you're talking in the preterite. Let me show you a couple of more examples really quick. Take a look. Yo tomé fotos la semana pasada. Yo tomé fotos la semana pasada. 
Yo hablé por teléfono la semana pasada. Yo hablé por teléfono la semana pasada. Yo monté en bicicleta el mes pasado. Nosotros montamos en bicicleta el mes pasado. Fantástico. You did amazing. Chocolas. Perfecto. Now you are able to conjugate AR verbs in the preterite. Stay tuned because our next lesson we will focus on ER and IR verbs in the preterite. Again, remember our rules. Get rid of the AR and add a new ending. The preterite endings are right here. And I also have a handout on my blog, so get the link below so you can go ahead and get it. Now that you know the preterite tense, I can tell you a story about some of the trips that I've taken in the past. ¿Listos? Let's hear it. Okay. Voy a contártela en español. Viajé a Europa. Visité Austria y también Italia. En Austria escalé una montaña. Me encanta estar en las montañas. Exploré mucho y finalmente encontré nieve. En el mercado compré unas frutas deliciosas. En Italia caminé mucho. Italia es un país muy bonito. Miré todo. Observé todos los detalles. Pensé y medité mucho. Yo compré unos platos italianos muy bonitos. También compré unos chocolates riquísimos. Caminé al lado del río. Hablé y jugué con el perro y con el gato. Y también monté a caballo. Tomé el sol. Tomé muchísimas fotos. Muy bien, amigos. I hope that you were able to read and understand my story about my trips. Again, hopefully you recognize some of the verbs in the present tense and some of the verbs in the preterite tense. See how I threw them all in together? That's what you should be able to do at this point. As a matter of fact, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Tell me something that you did in the last week. In the past, it's already happened. What have you done? Here are a few verbs that you can use and I look forward to seeing your sentence. Adios!